News 46 is brought to you by... At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. Pahrump Nugget, Progressive Cash Drawings, Mystery Point Multipliers, Mystery Gift Days, Extra Cash for Four of a Kind, Bingo Bowling Football and Food Specials. Looking for constant action? Look no further. Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Good evening. It's Thursday, March 8th, 2012. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle for News 46. At least one person is now rendered homeless following a structure fire on Loot Street off Turner on the south end of town. A structure fire on Lout Street right off of Keisha and Fox way on the south end of town this morning. Approximately 4 a.m. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue were dispatched to this double wide mobile home which had a lot of debris as well as vehicles on the property. There was reports of explosions. The home was a complete loss. Pahrump Valley Farm Rescue did a main stream from the streets to try to extinguish the blaze. State Fire Marshal has been called out to investigate the cause of this fire. The fire was quite large on the south end of town this morning. It did light up the morning skies because of the large amount of vehicles as well as structures on that property which all seem to have been a total loss. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Residents of a duplex on Galaxy lost their two dogs, their belongings and their home this afternoon as a result of a fire. A structure fire this afternoon on Galaxy Street prompted Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue and Nye County Sheriff's deputies to the scene of a two-unit complex. Apparently, Animal Control was the first to notice the fire. The fire department arrived on scene to open up the door of the structure. Animal Control, unfortunately, had to remove two dogs who did not survive this fire. There was no one else inside. However, the other unit did evacuate. Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue did their best to save the structure, which was almost a complete loss. This is Deanna O'Donnell on Galaxy for News 46. And folks, we're going to have more local news coming up for you right after this break. Please keep it here. Welcome back to News 46. Following up after the two structure fires from today is a reminder. As you turn your clocks forward this weekend, please also take a few minutes to change the batteries in the smoke detectors in your home. That's right. Smoke detectors should be tested monthly and have their batteries changed as often as twice a year. Changing the batteries at the end and beginning of daylight savings time gives residents an easy remember date to start or continue this life-saving habit. Smoke detectors have proven to have been proven to reduce fire fatalities by 50%. Residents are also reminded to identify and practice a home escape route with your family at least twice a year. The um, time jumps ahead one hour when daylight savings time begins at 2 a.m. this Sunday, March 11th. And the Nevada Department of Public Safety Highway Patrol Division will be hosting a speed DUI enforcement event today, March 8th, starting at 2 p.m. and ending at 12 a.m. The event will be held on, in the area of I-15 and SR-146. This is just one of the many joining forces campaigns to be held this year to reduce accidents and save lives. An interesting, an interesting truck came through town this weekend. This is not the only vehicle that the owner has that attracts attention. Well, it's, uh, it's a 91 Nissan uh, truck with uh, 426,000 miles on it. And, and it's not because I'm lucky, it's because i just taken good care of my car. And uh, I decided after my third paint job that I was tired of getting it painted and I decided Oh, I've been traveling around the world for about 10 years and I collected beer caps and bottle caps from d different countries and so I decided, what the heck, I might as well do something creative on the car. I'm an artist uh, and have been for a number of years and so I just started, um, I'd come back from a trip and I'd glue them on and go back and then go to a different country and put some more on and that's uh, essentially how it got to the place it did. So. It's uh, uh, gotten quite unique. How'd you get these uh, caps glued on there? Um, I use a, a polyurethane roofing cement. It's probably the strongest thing I found that uh, will not come off. Uh, and um, I can go 
Well, I still drive at 70 miles an hour, and I haven't had any issues with them coming off. So, so you would call this a completed piece of art? Uh, f I, well, I don't know that it's completed, but as it goes for the time being, it's uh, pretty complete. <laughs> Did you notice that with the uh, roofing material and all the caps that you had any weight issues? Did you have to compensate for it? Did it does it drive differently since you've done this? Uh, actually, it drives uh, a little bit better. It adds added some weight to it, but not not enough to af affect it uh, its performance or anything. It's uh, really not that much heavier. My other car is a is a UFO that I drive and is quite popular. I've been seven times to Burning Man with it, and it's uh, a vehicle that's one of the first transitional art cars that uh, people kind of identify with. So it's pretty well known there. So. I'd like to say hello to my granddaughters, uh, Sayla and Felicity. They're riding in one of their first rodeos today. Uh, and uh, I'm wishing them the best. And, uh, well, that's the reason I came out here. So. And this is Jason Koblenz for News 46. Well, that was fun. Absolutely. A little different. Yeah. You're an artist. I am. And that's, but... that's very difficult, actually. You know, people just... You look past the fact of how he probably obtained all those bottle caps, <laughs> and you're looking at a very interesting and intricate piece of work. I mean, it's not like he just stuck bottle caps to the truck. He's got a very neat design on there. So. Well, hey, it works. <laughs> and, and the UFO, too. We're near Area 51, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> well, should you uh, want to see more, Skip also has a website that you can visit at skipwagner.com. And as we head into our break this evening, here's Mr. Movie Phone with What's Up at the Movies. I'm Mr. Movie Phone. An epic adventure hits the screen and Eddie Murphy's career once again hits the skids. Stay tuned for my weekend movie preview next. News 46 is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Happy weekend, everybody. Well, this week at the movies, the silence is terrifying. Eddie Murphy is just blowing it. And get ready for an epic battle on Mars in John Carter. Our world is dying. Fate has brought you here, John Carter. From the classic novel by Edgar Rice Burroughs, John Carter is a prisoner wary of war, but forced to fight in a battle between the planet's inhabitants. Doesn't take long for him to realize that the fate of the people is in his hands. The real deal? Well, stuffed with action, effects, and exposition, John Carter is a messy, incomprehensible misadventure for the sci-fi geeks only. I'm out. The screams are deafening in Silent House. I just thought I heard something upstairs. Elizabeth Olsen is a young woman who finds herself trapped in her family's lake house. As strange events become increasingly terrifying, she realizes she must find an escape or die trying. The real deal? Elizabeth Olsen certainly proves she can look scared for a solid hour and a half. It's a gimmicky, spooky house story, but you can't help but hold your breath because Silent House is silent, but deadly. I'm in. Eddie Murphy's lips are sealed in a thousand words. What happens when a tree loses all its leaves? I could die! Murphy's character is a habitual liar, but when he lies to a spiritual guru, he's put under a spell that gives him just 1,000 words before he dies. The real deal, with no screening for critics, turns out Eddie Murphy's new movie, A Thousand Words, is probably about 999 too many. Dang, you blew it, Eddie. I'm out. A group of friends are on the baby track in Friends with Kids. We really want to have a kid, so we share all the responsibility and just skip over the whole marriage thing. I can't really tell if you're kidding right now. The comedy follows close-knit friends who are starting families, but when two single holdouts see how kids change everything, they try a different approach, having a baby together, but still dating other people. The real deal, in a world where romantic comedies are more missed than hit, even Megan Fox can't ruin the charming, likable Friends with Kids. I'm in! All right, for your showtimes, your tickets, my six-second review, so much more, go to moviephone.com. So have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you at the movies. That's a wrap! I just love the movies. Oh, me too. I can't wait. Actually, I know he's out for John Carter, but I am so in for that movie. <laughs> they, I've heard reviews saying it's like this generation's Star Wars. So oh. if you're even remotely into sci-fi, you will want to check it out. Well, I want to check it out, that's <laughs> for sure. Well, everyone, here is your news across Nevada. 
I'm Deanna O'Donnell, and this is your News Across Nevada. Nevada casino revenue has jumped 18.3% in January compared with a year ago. The State Gaming Control Board says today that the more than $1 billion that casinos won this January is up from $807 million from January of 2011. The Las Vegas Strip posted a 29% year-over-year gain bringing in $623 million in January. Downtown Las Vegas revenue was $47 million and is up nearly 14%. The story is different in Washoe County, where Reno casino revenues of $38 million are down 8.6%. South Lake Tahoe's $17 million win in January is up 2%. State officials collected $57 million in taxes based on January revenue. That's a 16.5% drop from the $69 million collected the year earlier. Nevada's Department of Employment, Training and Rehabilitation continues to offer a free service for residents and businesses in northern and southern Nevada to hire temporary workers on the spot. Each day, numerous workers show up to the day labor offices and wait for work assignments. The majority of workers are available to do odd jobs such as yard work or moving furniture. As Nevada continues to experience record unemployment, currently at 12.6%, the number of workers willing to accept temporary work has increased. The day labor office is not, is not only a way for individuals and businesses to get affordable help with their projects, but it is also a way for them to support Nevada's economy by giving workers an opportunity to earn the much needed money while they search for permanent full-time work. Workers may be hired by the hour, day, or week. The day labor offices are open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. till 3 p.m. To schedule workers, please call 702-486-3441 before 10 a.m. on Fridays. A new ordinance requiring actors in pornographic films to use condoms in Los Angeles may have the industry looking to move more film companies to Las Vegas. Las Vegas and Clark County have both licensed adult motion picture studios, and within the last year, a major porn production company set up shop in Southern Nevada. A city spokesperson said more than 50 video and film production companies are licensed within Las Vegas. Clark County lists more than 400 active film licenses. Neither the city nor the county could determine which licenses might belong to adult film production companies. Other reasons that the industry is considering coming to Las Vegas is because they can get commercial space for cheap, there's no state income tax, and housing is much lower than what they pay in Los Angeles. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your News Across Nevada. Thank you very much, Deanna. A Healing Touch on Postal Road is announcing a new line of products and a seminar that is coming soon. Next Monday, absolutely. It's um, the heart health presentation that we're doing for the research that has been done on L-arginine that cardiologists are finding to help reverse heart disease and possibly stop it altogether. Do you guys sell L-arginine at your place of business? We do. It's called Pro-arginine Complex. It's a specific blend that cardiologists have put together along with um, pharmacology and toxicology um, physicians as well. This is organic. What's it consist of? Do you know? Um, it has the properties in it that you would find if you were going to take um, nitroglycerin mm -hmm. to help stop um, a heart attack altogether. Mm -hmm. It has the highest dosage of nitric oxide in it, which is what you need in your blood system to help reverse uh, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. gout, um, heart attack, things like that, stroke. So there's evidence coming about that, that this will reduce uh, heart disease or um, right. heart attacks or um, at least reduce this. Absolutely. The research that has been coming out, especially with the cardiologists in California, um, since heart disease is the number one killer, they're trying to find some way to help people do this without having to take so much pharmaceutical medication. And this is natural and something that's been around for a long time. You guys uh, are coming out with a whole line of organic products. Yes, we are. We've listened to the community that's come in, especially with their frustration of having to go to Vegas for a lot of their, especially gluten-free. Mm -hmm. um, we're bringing in the raw organic honeys, mm -hmm the first press cold um, virgin coconut oils, the Bragg's amino acid line, the uh, Bragg's apple cider. We're going to be bringing in a lot of the supplements like the raspberry ketones, mm -hmm. uh, the white kidney bean extract that's really good to help with um, removing some of the cholesterol from the body. It is difficult to get glucose-free products. The, the gluten-free gluten is... It's hard to find here. Mm -hmm. It's easy to find in Vegas. We want to make it more readily available for 
the community here and they deserve it. There's a lot of people with celiac disease. They've got permeable bowel. There's aversion to food. Um, there's medication uh, contraindications when it comes to certain uh, gluten products. And there's so, evidence that uh, gluten-free products can help with autism. Yes, absolutely. And so we want to make sure to, to carry those products and we've listened to our clients and we want to make sure that we let them know that we've heard and we will, we will definitely act on it. Is there going to be any other semi seminars coming up at your location besides this one coming up this next Monday? Um, if this one is a big one and you want another one, if you weren't able to make this one, call me and let me know and we will definitely set another one up. But we want to get the word out and get the education and information out to the community for this. Who will be speaking? I'm not too sure yet. It's going to be a surprise, I was told. But um, the lady, Pam Krajnik, is an RN, mm -hmm. and she is setting up the speakers. And so this is 5 p.m. on March 12th at the Healing Touch. Where are you guys located? We're right across oh. the street from the post office, the main post office on Postal. Mm -hmm. And it's 2281 East Postal Road, Suite 9. Our number is 7510552. And you guys have a website address? We do. It's a Healing Touch Center. Um, dot com, mm -hmm. or you can email me at a healing touch center at yahoo.com. What's the hours of operation there if people want to check out your products? Massages by appointment, so it's from 9 to 5. Okay. And the retail area is 10 to 4, Monday through Friday, and Saturdays 10 to 2. Welcome back to News 46. Spaghetti fundraisers will be held coming soon at the Moose Lodge. Members of the Moose Lodge and the Moose Lodge itself always donate time and also as well meals to help those in need. We're going to speak to Dan Mollitz. Yes, on March 11th we're having a special Olympic uh, Sketty dinner. It's a donation and all the proceeds will go to the Special Olympic kids. What time is that? It starts at 3 p.m. And anybody can come to this? Anybody. It's open to the public. And uh, The Moose is donating the food and then all the proceeds. Um, how much is the dinner? Uh, it's a donation, whatever you want to give, whatever you can afford. We just like to have everybody show up and sponsor the uh, Special Olympics. And any other events coming up for the Moose Lodge? Yes, April 22nd, we're having a Nathan Addison uh, fundraiser, and that also starts at 3 o'clock, and that's also a donation dinner. And what type of meal is that? It, they're all spaghetti dinners. The proceeds are going to the building fund or to Nathan Addison Hospices? I oh, believe so. it's going to the building fund. It's uh, Dick Bunch is running it, and uh, I believe that's what it's going for. And any other? And on May 6th, we're having Nadine Fletcher. She's the Knight County school bus driver that won the championship for Nevada. And uh, we're having a fundraiser for her to send her to the national finals in Wisconsin, I believe it was. And what is that regarding? What did she win the championship for? She For being uh, the top bus driver and doing the bus rodeo, just like the tractor trailer guys do and other uh, companies do. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very proud of her. Pro uh, money will go to her, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the balance of the money will go for in September for uh, kids going back to school for buying whatever they need. Wonderful. What time is that? That's also at 3 p.m. And where are we located here at the Moose Lodge? 1100 uh, uh, East Street. And for more information, is there a number of people can call? 727-6465. Um, if people can't make it, to, can they still donate to these particular yes, events? Can. Yep, they can donate, uh, drop it off at the Moose Lodge and uh, say what you want it for. Is a Special Olympics, Nathan and Allison, or uh, for the school. And folks, we've got Zach now with a look at your weather. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org.
Welcome back to News 46, everyone. It's Zach Fuentes here with you weather. We had a pretty bad last couple of days, but that makes us appreciate today even more. We had sunny skies and our high was 66 degrees. Our winds coming out of the north northeast at 8 miles per hour and our gusts only at up to 18 miles per hour. Very nice day out there. Our pressure was at 30.38 and our UV was at 6 high. Humidity was at 16 and today's sunrise was at 6.04 a.m. Our record was 87 degrees set back in 1989. And tonight looks like it's going to be a nice night as well. We're going to have clear skies and a low of 37 degrees. Winds coming out of the northeast at 5 and our gusts only at 8 miles per hour. Our humidity to be at 29% and our sunset at 546 p.m. Tonight's record was 26 degrees back in 1942. Tomorrow, once again, it looks like we're going to have a good day. Sunny skies and our high is going to go into the 70s at 72. We're even getting into the 40s for our overnight lows at 40 degrees. And our winds are going to come out of the east-southeast at 5 miles per hour with our gusts only at 6. Our UV is going to be 6 as well. And our sunrise will be at 6.02 a.m. Our humidity looks like it's going to be at 16%. And taking a look at our seven day forecast, we're going to have some clouds from Sunday to Tuesday, but otherwise we're going to have sunny skies on the edges there Friday and Saturday and Wednesday and Thursday as well. Our highs for the most part are remaining in the 70s, which is really nice, except for Monday and Tuesday. We're going to be at 69, but that may go into the 70s as well. The overnight lows are 40 across the board, so it looks like the 30s are gone for just a little bit there. Our lowest low is going to be 40 degrees on Friday. And today's worst weather was in Fox Chase, Kentucky, where they had rain and thunderstorms. Back to you guys. We're going to have to start getting some color on us, I Rick. Know. I'm going to have to put a hole in the wall and get some sun into my office. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You don't have a window in your I office. I don't. I don't. But that's okay because I just set the desktop to a beach or something and I'm instantly back in Florida. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, folks, it's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rick Vale. And I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. And from everyone up here on the Hill at KPVM, we wish you a safe evening and we'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Prump. Good night.